Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as recent as yesterday, I made a video on a 60 FPS patch for Persona 5 on RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. So after I finished making this video, I wanted to find out exactly who made this patch for this game and I got in contact with a guy called TGE over on the RPCS3 official Discord. For anybody who's not aware, mostly due to the fact that I didn't know who to credit in my video yesterday, TGE is actually the original creator of this patch for this game. So after I got in contact with him and thanked him for making this patch for this awesome game, he actually informed me that he has already made several improvements to this 60 FPS patch for this game on this emulator. Several of the issues with this original patch which I covered in my video yesterday include the game speeding up when you're in combat doing certain persona acts, the game speeding up in the game world outside of combat, and one of the most game breaking features is the fact that audio in cutscenes does not correctly work and cuts off before the end of sentences. The gameplay you are watching right now is the original 60 FPS patch, let's just speed forward through my gameplay and I'll show you exactly what this weird audio game breaking bug is. Guess the drug was too Wake up. So as you can hear in that small clip there, the audio actually cuts out before it is actually meant to when you were running at 60 FPS. This is one of the most game breaking issues when using the original 60 FPS patch. Let's now look at the exact same place in the exact same cutscene using the updated and improved 60 FPS patch which I have been provided. Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. So as you can see, in this new and improved 60 FPS patch version, the audio is no longer completely sped up and doesn't cut off before the end of its sentences. The only issue left with cutscenes which is actually being worked on right now by TGE is the fact that the subtitles do not stay on screen for as long as they should do, but as I said, this issue is currently being worked on and should be fixed at some point in the future. Another bug that a lot of people report and does happen to a lot of people is that when you use any of your persona skills in battle, your FPS and your game speed will be sped up to 200%. This new patch also fixes that issue as you can see in the game footage right now. So as I said, this patch does fix a lot of the bugs, however it is not still perfect. One issue which I would classify as a minor issue is that the batting cage minigame in Persona 5 is still sped up to 2x speed. However, to alleviate this issue and to complete this minigame and get the associated trophies, you can simply remove the patch from your RPCS3 folder and complete these minigames at the original 30 FPS. Okay, so I'm now going to show you exactly how you can use this new 60 FPS patch with Persona 5 on RPCS3. Okay, so as you can see, this is the old patch.yml file. When I open it and bring it into window, you can see that it is exactly as I previously have shown it. However, this is the old one and we are not going to be using it. This is the new patch.yml file for 60 FPS in Persona 5. As you can see, its creator is TGE or TG Enigma. When we scroll down to the very bottom of this file, you can still see that you are going to need to enter your PPU executable hash. Also, you must be aware that the formatting of this file is quite important. If your file appears in any way different to what you see on screen right now, that is the reason it is not currently working. I am now going to show you how you can find the PPU executable hash for your game. First of all, we want to actually load our RPCS3 build. Once it is loaded, into this log section right here you want to right click and make sure to select Trace. Once Trace is selected, you want to actually boot your game. Once your game starts loading its pre-compiled shader cache, you can simply close the game and next you want to scroll this window right back to the top. With your mouse cursor in this window, you want to press Ctrl and F and into this find string window, you want to type PPU space and EXE. Hit enter and you will see that your PPU executable hash has appeared at the bottom of your log window right here. Next, all you need to do is highlight and copy all of this text. Simply highlight it like so right click and select copy and then all you need to do is come back to your patch.yml file which I will have provided you in the description of this video. Into this area you simply need to highlight the text and right click and select paste if your numbers are completely different to what mine are. 
This is all you need to do. Simply save this file and then you can just drag and drop it into your RPCS3 folder like you are going to see me do right now. I'm simply going to open up my patch folder, drag and drop this file and place it into my RPCS3 folder. Now that this file is here, we are done with patching the game, all you will need to do is load Persona 5 and we will indeed see that we are going to be running at 60fps with this upgraded and improved 60fps patch version. And there we go, as you can see I am now loaded into game, let's just quickly jump into a battle and see what our performance and speed is like there. Once we actually get into the battle, I can actually tell that my performance has even slightly improved in this situation. Previously I would drop down to between 42 and 45 FPS, usually fluctuating between 45 and 60 FPS. As you can also see, when any of the characters use their persona abilities, the game is not sped up to 2 times speed. So that's about it for this video guys, there's not much more I can say about this Persona 5 60 FPS patch. If you want to stay as updated as possible about this 60 FPS patch's performance and updates in future, you should definitely consider joining my Discord server, you can find a link for that down in the description. Additionally, if you want to help support BSOD Gaming, you can find a link to my Patreon also down in the description of this video. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.